Shalom Chavarim, this is Richard Solomon, and this will be a tutorial, a demonstration on how to use a photo editing web tool called Lunapic. In order to use this tool, you first want to get to its URL or web address, which is www.161.lunapic.com forward slash editor and the forward slash. This is quite an easy tool to utilize because you don't even have to log in or have a account. What you need to do is to choose a file that's on your computer or open up a public domain picture on the web. Going here, I'm going to take a JPEG file from my computer and I hit choose file. You see where I hit choose file? and I simply go and find the specific file I want to upload onto Lunapic. It's called Learning Jewish Knowledge through technology. You'll see, then I hit choose, and soon you will see that when we hit upload, there is the picture that we created. All right, it's obvious and you can use any image that's a Judaic image for a holiday or Jewish history, etc. I just want to play with this one. Uh, this speaks to the fact that web technology can be used to uh, facilitate uh, communication with a variety of different uh, groups and institutions. Okay, now all of these menus invite you to do a variety of different things. Now, I'm not going to go over all of these applications, but let's say I wanted to do a picture frame, okay? So I click on picture frame, and I have lots of different choices. I could choose any one of these, so I could choose this one, and there it is. You see, I can add a caption here. I can say, uh, Judaic application. Of Lunapic, right? And then simply hit go. And you see the Judaic application of Lunapic. Okay? Now I can also change the color of that and the location, let's say I wanted top center, and I wanted the size to be 20. And I can also change the font to something else if I don't like what that is. Let's say I wanted to see This looks like. Okay, update caption. Now we have the font up here. Okay, so please understand that you can change the colors by using this wonderful tool. You can blur it. I mean, there's just so many things you could do. You can make it into a 3D or a Lego style, uh, you can emboss it. Uh, just play with this, uh, my friends, and uh, have fun with it. Here are also a set of different kinds of tutorials. So basically, once you like what you have, you save it. You could save it to your computer, you can go to email, you can save it to Facebook or Picasso, 
and uh, that's how it works. So I'm going to save this to my computer by going over here. And it's now on my computer, and there it is. There is the image that we just created. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy it.